I'm simulating two objects made of glass with reflection and refraction effects. The Fresnel equation is used to calculate the amount of these effects. The light source is an environment map. I created the map based on a panorama picture of the museum building at Trinity. I'm using the real physical refraction ratios of red, green, and blue as defaults. So you can only see a taint of chromatic dispersion here, mainly on the bunny. And now, I am changing these ratios and make the values further different. As the values shown in the terminal change, the chromatic dispersion becomes more and more visible. Now I'm changing it back to the original. Here I am lowering the portion of reflection gradually down to zero, so what's left here is purely refraction. As I change the refraction ratios again, the chromatic dispersion becomes more and more apparent again. Now I'm reducing the refractions to 0 too. There's no shading on the models. Now I'm reducing the refraction and keep the reflection. The objects maintain a shiny surface, but have become very dark. This shows that according to the Fresnel equation, most of the light we see on the material of a glass comes from refraction.